for Wheeling University Athletics. I'm Zach Ziegler. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Mike Geibel Show, currently joined by Wheeling University head rugby coach Mike Geibel. And Mike, this weekend you guys are getting ready for the NCR Rhino Rugby Bowl. Talk about this honor, and what does it mean for your team to be invited? Uh, it's really special to us. You know, it's the first year that they're doing the, the bowl series at the Collegiate Rugby Championship, and Rhino's a big sponsor of NCR. Um, so, you know, it's really exciting to be a part of something the first year that it's run and be invited and you guys get to play in Aviva Stadium in Houston, Texas, a professional rugby stadium. What's that going to be like for your guys, getting a chance to play where some of the professionals play? Uh, it's going to be really cool. Some of the guys, this will be their second time. You know, we played in the, the NOLA Gold Stadium um, for CRC 7s back in May. Uh, but the rest of the guys, the new guys that come in this year, it's their first time playing in a professional stadium here in the U.S., uh, and it's really exciting. You know, it's it's a great atmosphere. It's a great stadium. The the grass is beautiful, and we're, lo we're really looking forward to it. And for you guys, it's been a little while since you've competed in an actual game. Alderson Brothers was your last game. How have you been staying sharp, and how do you prepare for a game like this after such a long break? Uh, we had some intra-squad intra scrimmage time, uh, played against ourselves a little bit, got a little bit of contact in, and really just been trying to stay sharp, keep everything together, and uh, keep working, you know, to build on – what we did throughout the season and then move forward to the bowl game. Currently joined by Willing University head rugby coach Mike Geibel. And Mike, along with this bowl game, you also had, I believe it was 11 athletes invited to the All-Star game in January. Talk about that a little bit and how did those guys get selected? Um, so it's a, it's a really cool program that NCR does where they, they want to give opportunity for high-performing athletes and even some of the rising stars to go out and play in front of MLR scouts, in front of the coaches, and you know, in front of their peers that they might not get to play against in the, the regular season. Um, so selections, it's basically by region. So there's several coaches who are you know, on the selection committee who are also gonna coach the team uh, when we go down to Houston. And we kind of got together on a conference call and looked through the list of guys who put their names in the hat and kind of went from there and decided you know, who was gonna be selected, who was gonna play for the, the top team and the, the Rising Stars team. And, uh, you know, we're we're really excited about going down there back to Houston again. And not only do you have a couple of players selected, but you're also coaching in that game. Talk about what that means for you and how you were selected to do that. Um, it's something that I've always really been a fan of. I uh, started a few years ago back when NCR was still NSCRO, the small college rugby organization. I coached the, the women's sevens and the men's 15s all-star teams for the South. Um, it's something that, you know, I'm, I'm really a proponent of giving those opportunities to the players. So when they called and asked if I wanted to be a part of it again this year for the Great Lakes region, I was happy to happy to join up. And you guys are heading down to Houston, Texas for this bowl game. What are your, some, of key, some of your keys for success, and what are some of your goals for the team as they go down there? Um, I think, you know, just kind of continuing to build on what we've done all season. We've worked really hard to kind of perfect the, the systems and processes that we have in place. Uh, you know, we, we think we have – it's going to be a good matchup. You know, Iowa Central is a very strong team. They're actually the defending um, D1 AA champions from before COVID, uh, a title that they're actually going to hold until after our match that we play uh, when the new champions crowned directly after us. So, you know, we just really want to kind of build on what we've been doing and continue to, to play our game and hopefully come out with a win. Thanks, Mike, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler.